More stimulus money is headed to the Miami Valley. Three Dayton neighborhoods are set to get a $4 million makeover. Megan O'Rourke tells us about the city's plan to rebuild and revitalize. Dilapidated homes like this are scattered throughout the city of Dayton. And while work is already underway to tear down many of these blighted properties, new construction could soon take their place. Residents like Ray Mitchell are pleased to see the progress. You can make a neighborhood great if you want to. And Wednesday morning, city commissioners showed their support by voting to accept $4.25 million in stimulus money as part of the federal neighborhood stabilization program. I'm excited about it. Uh, I, I've heard for so many years people saying, oh, nobody ever, uh, ever does development in this part of town or this part of town where well, this takes care of it. 170 blighted properties will be torn down. 45 new homes will be built in their place, as well as townhomes and a senior living building in three neighborhoods throughout the city. Roosevelt, Twin Towers, and the area around Germantown and Broadway. City officials say they were carefully selected so the city can get the biggest bang for their buck. And we are really trying to tie our development dollars to existing assets and existing uh, projects, really building on our strengths and our core assets. So uh, in the Roosevelt project, we currently ha have the, the new Rexplex and Boys Academy under construction, so this seemed to be a natural fit with new housing, especially housing that's geared towards families. City officials also plan to replace the blight with fewer structures on bigger lots creating what they call a roomier, more friendly feel that they hope will entice more people to call Dayton home. If we can attract more people, then, then we'll take care of some of our budget problems too, uh, and people will attract business. So I guess the, the focus has to be we've got to do everything we can to, to get people coming into Dayton and not leaving. Officials say most of the teardown should start within the next three months, with the rebuilding process starting early next year and wrapping up sometime in 2013. I'm Megan O'Rourke, 2 News on your side.